This is integrated three. It is problem six dash two four. And it says how many games are in a World Series? In baseball's World Series, the first team to win four games wins the championship. The series might last four, five, six, or seven games. A fan who buys tickets would like to know how many games on average he can expect a championship series to last. Assume the two teams are equally matched and set aside such potentially confounding factors as the advantage of playing at home. We want to know the expected value for the number of games that will be played in the World Series. So, and then it has, um, it has directions for you to simulate a World Series on your calculator, and it wants you to let one equal the winning team and let two Oh, one is just for one of the teams winning and two is for the other team winning. You will simulate seven games, but as soon as one team wins four games, the World Series is over and you will have to ignore any results that follow that. And then they show a little diagram in your book, um, but I'm going to teach you how to use random.org for this. Um, the rest of the directions say record how many games it took to win the series. In the example at right, winning took five games. I'll go through that when I show you my screen. Um, repeat the simulation at least 25 times. So I got my paper. And I just wrote 25 spots uh, for me to write, for me to record 25 numbers. And the reason I labeled it, um, numbered it is because Sometimes I skip a number, like when I have a lot of numbers. So I just um, thought that would help. So I think actually notebook paper would have helped better. Um, and then it says, you don't care which team wins. You only care how long the series takes. So based on your simulation, what's the average number of games a World Series lasts? So let me show you how to, how to do it. So I'm going to share my screen. And share and okay, so I'm at random.org. Um, I actually went to random.org slash integers. Um, but you can just Google random.org integers or just go to the home page and find the integer generator. But so you want to be here, and then <clears throat> I need um I need it to spit out numbers that are in groups of seven because I want to see the seven games. So I and I need 25, um, 25 games. I know. Sorry. 20. I need I need 25 sets of seven. So I, I went 25 times seven on my calculator and I found out that 25 times seven is a hundred. 175. So I asked random.org to give me 175 integers. And I want ones and twos. Um, because those will represent the two different teams. And I wanted seven columns because they could play up to seven games. Okay, and then I'm just gonna say get numbers. Now I have see how they're kind of like they're in like little rows of seven. So this is a different set of numbers than the one I worked on here. So don't go trying to work out the, um, like if this set of numbers turns out with a different answer than the set, than what I got, it's because I um, generated a new batch of numbers. So, but anyway, the way you do it is this, this top row, of these top seven numbers, that is one game. So like this this one team, the, the twos, they won the first one, two, they, were, they won the first four games. So I'm going to record a four. I mean, in, in my last simulation, it was six, but I'm going to record a four. And then I'm just going to go to the very next line and I'm going to look and I'm going to see, well, whichever team gets four, Four, wins four games is the team that wins. So I'm going through and I'm seeing they're kind of tied up like by the fourth game, 
the the ones have won two games, but the twos have also won two games. So then by the fifth game, the twos are look, looking good like they're going to win. By the sixth game, um, well, it's anybody's. It could go either way. But then on the seventh game, the twos won. So I'm going to record a seven because this second line here, um, it took seven whole games for to decide who's going to win the World Series. The third line. I'm going to go, let's see, the twos and the ones, the twos and the ones. Can't really tell who's winning yet. Twos and ones. It looks like the ones won the World Series on the third line here, um, but it took seven games again. So I'm going to record a seven. So, so far I've actually, I didn't even, I haven't been writing them down. Um, I'll do one more line. Okay. So on the fourth, this fourth line, I got twos, one, two, one, 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 one. So it looks like the it the ones are the winning team on this uh, fourth line, and, but it took them six games to win. So I'm going to record the six. Um, I don't want to spend more time on that, but basically you have to go. You can't. It takes a long time. You have to go all the way through. You have to do the fifth line and the sixth line and all the way down to the twenty fifth line until you have recorded 25 numbers and then once you have all your 25 numbers like my numbers are from my simulation that i did are like i got a six a five a seven a six a five a six a four a seven a five four seven 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 five six seven seven six seven six seven six six five seven so those are all my 25 numbers that i got of how many games it took to win and then I added them all up and they totaled out to be 151. And then I, I divided that number. Okay, let me take this off screen share. Um, I added up all the numbers that I had recorded for how many games it took to win the World Series. Remember I had 25 lines of, of seven and I recorded them all. And then I added them all up. I got 151. And then I divided by the, there was 25 lines of, I don't know, data. And I ended up with 6.04 was, you know, about how many games that you could expect to watch if you're, if you got tickets for the World Series. The theoretical probability is 5.81. And we're not going to get into how to uh, calculate that. But basically, that was a simulation, and that is how it is done. I'm trying to figure out how to stop the recording. Okay, stop.